All right, guys. Uh, so one of the benefits of having a Galaxy Note is the large screen. And one function that many uh, folks oversee is the multitasking capabilities or multi-window uh, capabilities. Here, for example, I have um, one of our websites um, open in Chrome. And at the very bottom, I actually have um, YouTube running at the same time. So in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to use multi-window and run multiple applications at the same time. All right, so the first thing you need to do is we need to go into Menu. You need to go into settings and you need to make sure that under device that you have the function multi-window enabled. This function right here has to, uh, you need to make sure that that is checked so that you can actually uh, have multiple windows open at the same time. Right? So we went ahead and did that just to make sure. Another place that you can see multi-windows if you bring down and you look at your toggles, you can see that I have the multi-window version checked so you can turn that on or off if that's something that you want to do. So now, how do you get the multi-window uh, to start working? So one of the things that you'll need, obviously, is um, an application open, but you have to open it using the multi-window function. So what you do is on the bottom, you press and hold your back button, and this menu will come up on the side. Here are all the applications that are available for multi-window viewing or use, right? So let's say, for example, I want to go into Chrome. I just can drag it over if I want it. Right, and Chrome is now open, and here I have a web page, the one I was showing you earlier. Um, and then if I wanted to, let's say I'm going to open up YouTube. I'm going to grab YouTube, and I'm going to drag it on the bottom. And now I have um, YouTube uh, open. So I have two programs open side by side. And I can navigate from one or to the other, and they're independent. They can be running at the same time. So you notice I have some videos and some, uh, some text. I can zoom in. You know, I can uh, read uh, information on one versus the other. So the programs are fully active um, within this mode. All right, so now that I have uh, I have my two windows open and I can size and move up and down between them, one of the things that you can also do is you can actually resize how much space a specific window is taking. So notice I made the, the top portion larger than the bottom. I can just drag up and down. Um, I also have a really neat feature, and that is I can have multiple programs open. So if I go into this window here, I can actually drag another application into any of these windows to have multiple windows running at the same time. So let me show you a little neat tip. So if I tap on this, and notice how you have this icon right here, I'm going to tap on this icon. These are all the programs that are open in this area. I'm going to do it again, go here, and what I could do is I could swipe between these two apps. So when I come down and I tap it, I have another application listed in the bottom. So you might ask, well, you know, why would I have a word processor like, like the Polaris Office that I have open now uh, and a recipe on the top? Well, there's another neat feature that is uh, the ability to be able to copy text or an image from one document to another. So let's say, for example, this piece of, of the recipe is important to me. I can actually bring it down and drag it into this Word document and I could use this uh, later. If I, there's something else that I like over here, um, I could again go into that function that I want to copy something, I press and hold, and then bring it over to uh, the bottom area. And then once again, I'm um, coming into this area. I can uh, switch things as well. So if I want to move this to the bottom and, and the bottom to the top, all I got to do is push this button and they revert themselves. If um, I wanted to go back, and again, I'm using the stylus just because it's uh, a little bit easier. I can go back to top to bottom. And then if I'm done, uh, let's say, for example, here I'm using the standard uh, browser. This is not Chrome. This is the standard browser uh, that comes with, uh, with Android. Um, I've noticed that it only works, this copy function that I just did, with the standard browser, not with the Chrome browser yet. So that's uh, one warning. But what I can now do is if I want to close one of these programs, all I have to do is hit the back button once. Actually, oh, let me do that again. Go into here. All I have to do is since I have this area of focus, I will hit the X and then that closes that window. So now I'm in Chrome, which was the same page, but I've closed that out. So that's how you would jump between windows, how you can copy text from one window to another, and then um, how you can move within a window that you may have for a running application.